Matthew and today we're going to train or we're going to call the super potato. An average day in the life of Supermax. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the handsomest hair superhero of them all? Attention, Supermax. Can you hear me? I heard you, General. What's going on? It's Dr. Mavlin. He's stolen a priceless statue from the city museum. Dr. Mavlin, I'll do my hair and fly right over. That Dr. Mavlin is always stealing things. And I always have to go to his secret hideout. Wear him and return them. Supermax have been to the doctor's hi- secret hideout so many times. It's not much of a secret anymore. Does he get tired of this? He has to break down the door every single time. Return the statue, Dr. Mevelin. It doesn't belong to you. Ah, Supermax, I knew you'd come. So I prepare a surprise. Beep, 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 beep. Ching. Huh? Why bother, Mevelin? You know the bars can't hold me. No, but they'll give me a chance to blast you with my um, unlimited weapon. What have you done to me? My nose, my hair, I'm, I'm a potato. I change you into a potato. You aren't so brave without your 737 muscles, are you, Supermax? The average human body only has 650 muscles. Supermax has 87 more. Or should I call you Super Potato? I'll pay, f- you'll pay for this. Now run away, little potato, and tell the general that I wouldn't be returning the statue. Friend, so run, super potato, run! Eh, ha, 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 ha. Normally, Super Max give a few lumps to Dr. Mevelin, and that's that. Eh, ha, 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 eh, ha, 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 ha. But this time, our hero has lost the fight. A potato. I'm a potato! Supermax has not cried even once in the last 15 years. But while Supermax may not cry, Super Potato cries like a baby surrounded by onions. Wah, wah, bah! 57 minutes later. (laughs) Snip, snip, snip. I guess I should, I should head home. If only I could still fly. But wait, he hasn't even tried. But Super Potato will have to try soon because it's going to be a long walk. He heads across the street without looking first. Which you should never do even if you're the world's saddest potato boom <sighs> but but i'm flying i still got it am i super strength yes grunt dr mevelin was right i'm a super potato and i'll show mevelin just how right he was somehow I'll make him turn me back. This time he he's crossed the line. Crash! I'm back, 
Dr. Mevelin. Where is he? Dr. Mevelin? Hmm. Dr. Mevelin has vanished without taking his stolen statue or even turning the light off. But where'd he go? Hmm. Remember we lost all the evil doctor laughing evilly seven pages earlier? Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha 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 ha. So hard that he forgets to breathe? Gas, wheeze. Then he remembers. Squeak. Uh, I'm good. Cough, cough, cough. I'm good. After recovering, Dr. Mevelin decided to treat himself with a super victory over Super Mac. The night we're dining at the Golden Crab. I'll eat next to a rat. I wouldn't even wear a tie. The world will deny me nothing. Nothing. So the evil doctor hopped in his Mevelin mobile, ready for a night or fine dinner. <laughs> he arrived ready to gobble at least three lobsters and a platter of crab legs. Andre, my good man, hello, Mr. Mevelin, doctor. Table for a victorious supervillain, please. Forgive me, but I see you're not wearing a tie, and there's a slight issue with your um company. Oh no, issue! Oh no, an issue? Terribly sorry. Let me tell you something. And three. You have the issue. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah. Yikes. Squeak. I think I'll have octopus with potatoes. Mountains of potatoes. First. Meanwhile. First, girl, I'll return the statue to the museum. Suddenly, Super Potato crashes a glance of something. He hasn't seen his reflection. Is this is me? No. Oh no. Can I get a do over? Super Potato leaves the priceless statue on the nearest roof. I can't face Dr. Mevin like this. Why would people think? Super Potato has returned home. I must be swift. No time to lose. But what is our hero looking for in those box? Yes, it's here. The Deluxe Super Max Action Figure. The Deluxe Super Max Action Figure was a rare giant disaster in the successful career of Super Max. The toy hairpiece fell off easily, allowing many children and posing various safety issues. The action figure was taken off the market after a series of hair like complaints. Super Potato has finally found a use for that fatly hair piece. Much better. All I need now is a cake. Super Potato gets so busy facing he looked like he Fails to notice the general cell. Super Max, where have you been? Who's the handsomest potato of the mall? All I need now is a cake. Dr. Mevelin is out of control. Look what he's done to me. Anyway, Super Potato better put his cape on fast because ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Squeak. Help. We need Supermax. Ha <laughs> ha I haven't had this much fun since they recall Super 
Super Max action figure. Squeak, what? The price of the statue? That's not possible. What is doing up there, Squeak? This could only be the work. Um, no, it can't be, Squeak. No, Squeak. No, I tell you, Squeak. Not him. No, no, no. You should pay more attention to your rat, Dr. Mevelyn. I am be maybe a potato, but you're the one who's going to get mashed. You sure? Ah. Let's finish this. Outrageous. The beam doesn't do anything. No. My hair, not again. Let's finish this. Pow, out, squeak. Yo, punch, tick that. Enough, enough. I quit. Coward. Sure, fine. Just take it easy. Listen up, Mevelyn. What's going on up there? What is that thing? It's a, a super potato? You're going to prison for what you've done, but first, go. We're going to your hideout and you're building a the potato thing beam. The potato zinging? Or whatever you call it. You've done enough damage. Wait, what are you doing? Destroying this thing. My beam? It was brand new. Just released. Bye bye. I despise you, Super Potato. I knew that already. Let's go. Good work. Bravo. Long list, Super Potato. Yay. Ten minutes later. Time to work, Marilyn. I'm a member. And remember, I'm watching you. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Mevlin work all night. What are you making? I designed a reverse marismatic container. And all day, now what are you making? I made a chemical cell transmitter. And all through the next night, what about now? It's a remote power flow control device. On the second day, Super Potato and Dr. Marilyn fell asleep from exhaustion. But they're back at work before morning. Wake up, Marilyn. You have to finish the beam. Just a little more sleep. Soon they work for two days, then three, then four, then nine. Four days and night. Now what are you making? A Paul Peptide Sanitizer. Pass me the hammer. And then, at long last, after 379 hours, it's done. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's right here. That's the deep potato zinging beam. It kind of looks like... Looks like what? It is my friend. The super extendable double egg worm mode controller potato peeler. You tricked me. Oh, what a shame. You won't get away with this. I'm going to leave you boiled and destroy, destroy oil. Snap. Ah.
There's no honor in what you do, Mavalent. Oh, really? Do tell me. <laughs> I had to get rid of that thing. Dr. Mavalent, in his quest to finish our super potato, doesn't see that he's trashing his own laboratory. That's it. Keep following me. The doctor should be careful around his laboratory because if not, sodium water. Hold on, there's a scientist to explain what happened with sodium mixes with water. A chemical element sodium is highly unstable, much like certain people in the story. It's reaction mechanism with water is 2NAS. 2H20, 2NaOHAQ plus H2G. Well, anyway, that means you can produce boom, ah, an explosion. Don't try this at home. Boom, oof. Starting to smell like roast potato, ah, my cake, ah. Super potato drop and raw to put out the fire. What a disaster, but we're stuck to meddling. Over here, squeak. Uh, help me, squeak. Can't believe it. You're asking for help, meddling? Hmm, I don't know. I can't think. I can't think of one good reason not to leave you dingo out here. Please, please, squeak. Promise that if I lower you to the ground, you'll build that the po- potatoes sing beam and no tricks this time. I, I promise. I promise. I promise. But what? It's easy to transform a person into a potato, but turning a potato back into a person, that is practically impossible. Why? You're... Are you going to help me or not? I'm losing my grip. I Am I stuck this way forever? I don't know. You don't know? Please. Thank you, Super Potato Squeak. Be quiet. One month later, in prison, Dr. Mevelyn had discovered his true calling, gardening. Sure you don't want to break out? No, no. Um, you go. I'm good here. A a scientist is trying to create a deep potato thing meme without much success. So far, we only managed to turn a potato into a carrot. Hmm. And things to the in the city are back to normal, more or less. Your turn, Andrew. What do I do now? I'm a potato. So before you pick up the next super adventure of Super Potato, we must bring this one to a close. Mara Mara on the wall. Who's the handsomest potato of them all? Super Potato, Big John, and the parent have escaped from prison. We need your help. Yep, that's it. The end. And that's the end of Super Potato, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.